Let's get to the names you want to watch this week. Four for four. And the reason we're doing that is because there are only four days, thank goodness, on this week. John Hilsenrath, as always, uh, is here, markets editor with The Wall Street Journal. These are not recommendations. These are simply names to watch. Okay. Uh, let us start with the order that they're written down. So okay. we'll start with the Robin's Egg Blue Tiffany. Uh, Tiffany, this was supposed to be a bad year for uh, for luxury retailers, and Tiffany is surprising. They're going to report double-digit earnings increase this year. They're doing well because they that because they're doing well overseas, strong sales overseas. But also, it seems like a lot of foreigners are coming to New York and shopping at Tiffany. So the New York. Uh, and some of the main uh, tourist locations are holding up pretty well. Tiffany, I'll have good numbers this week. All right. Let's stick with them. Well, these, are, I guess, are all consumer. Interesting when you For look the at them. For the most part. Dell, the other Dell. side of things. Yeah. Well, you know, De Dell is in the middle of a turnaround that basically isn't happening. They're going to report numbers uh, this week that are pretty much flat, dead in the water. Uh, Dell is, you know, one of the problems with Dell is that it just hasn't really innovated for a long time. They had a very innovative process in the 90s, but it isn't getting them anywhere. They're going to report pretty dismal numbers, or at least unexciting numbers this week, as, as, at least as analysts expect. So it looks like Michael Dell only had one good idea? Uh, so, so far, he had, a, he had one great idea, which great made idea, him a yeah. very rich man. But, yeah. the, but, but the thing is... I mean, name an innovative Dell product that you've seen in the last few years. Yeah. I mean, their process was very good, but times have changed. They got to. Yeah, do I don't mean to, I don't mean to take anything away from Michael Dell. I mean, it was a brilliant business plan. Right. What about Mattel? Uh, Mattel is a very interesting case this week. This is the week of the battle of the uh, of the dolls, Bratz versus Barbie. Mattel and uh, another doll maker, MGA Entertainment, are going to court this week. Uh, over a fight over who came up with the idea for Bratz, which has been feeding up on poor little Barbie for the last few years. Mattel's earnings numbers have been very weak, and uh, they're hoping to win in the Those Bratz dolls now. are shocking, I have to say. You get them in the, you know, get them in the meals at McDonald's, and well, they look like things for teenage girls, shall we say, as opposed uh, to the yeah, four-year-old little girls, variety. I guess, like what the teenage girls are wearing. So. Yeah. And uh, finally. <laughs> Sears Holdings. Sears, yeah. Uh, Sears is going to report numbers. They're going to be truly dismal. Uh, Eddie Lampert. It looks like it looks like that that like they basically miscalculated. They had too much inventory. They've had to do a lot of discounting. It's been it's it's been a rough run for Eddie Eddie Lampert. You know, he was trying to calm investors down a few weeks ago. And now he's going to turn around and report pretty pretty grim numbers. So uh, you shouldn't expect much out of them. Eddie right, Eddie just needs to go and buy. You know, go on a shopping spree himself. It could rescue the quarter. Yeah, but I don't think he's going to do that. I think. Oh, Matthew really? You don't think he? he, he... Out, so. All right, we got to go.